<laughs> Today we'll be opening up a Power of the Force Deluxe Boba Fett. Hit it, hit it. Get it going. Two mothers went to the park. It was kinda kinda dark. In the daytime, call it right. Ryan, dope niggas, come by them in the bushy in the hip. Go ahead, pop that. Come head. on, you bitch. Come on, pop it. Oh! <laughs> Live. CCNRR fans, back for another exciting episode coming to you upgraded, innovation all the way this is what we do 720 720 this is 1999 <laughs> this is when they came out with those s video cable cords s video cable cords this is <laughs> coax all day long on this one <laughs> so here we are again like us subscribe us tell us how we're doing tell us what you want to see you were quarantined but the mm. money is still going out like the toilet paper. I mean, it's. I, I have I have no money, but I keep spending money, which I don't understand how that's possible. No, but Uncle Don, Uncle Donald came through, and I got some cash. That's right, and it's going right to Hasbro, dude. <laughs> it's already gone. I've already allocated all my money. <laughs> so we got we got another good episode here today. We're going to be looking at the new uh, wave, if you can call it, for the vintage. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't really know if that's a wave or more of just a splash. Maybe it's a splash. Yeah maybe a little splash now we did take a look at when we did our vhs shows a couple mm. of weeks ago um we showed one of the wave there was four in this wave that they actually are now calling the wave it was the uh mandalorian okay. uh, Car cara dune mm. a uh remnant stormtrooper and a repack clone trooper from attack of the clones so we're going to take a look at all that. We're going to do a compare on the original Attack of the Clones vintage collection figure. And then, if you're still here, mm. we're going to reward you with an opening of the Black Series probe droid, which is the only thing, if you watch our last episode, that arrived actually mint. Yes. And for some stupid reason, I'm going to open it because I can't resist this mechanical goodness are you going to open it uh, my question is are you going to open it carefully or are you just going to tear into it no i probably will open it very carefully okay. so at least i don't feel too bad about it okay. you know, i'm going to feel guilty about it but not as guilty you know what gotcha. I mean? so I can't, you, know, you sent me that you spot just to, to note you sent me that video to, or the picture today of that mouse droid for that guy who was selling it for like seven hundred dollars yeah yeah. I went home and I opened mine. Did you? Nice. And you just tore it open. Just <laughs> tore it open, right? Um, then, honestly. When the bubbles were actually had glue on them, right? So you actually had to tear everything. I had, it ripped their car back. There's no car back left. <laughs> My question though, I have that, for some reason, I have that whole set. The whole, the whole Death Star set. Yeah. You're telling me that the salacious crumb and that mouse droid are worth like $1,000 if I put them together. <laughs> Apparently, that's the only way to get those carded figures. Is in the I guess if bed. we don't open this go the government back up, I guess I'm, I'm going to start selling stuff. You're going to start selling that, dude. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's good for you. You get that Death Star. <laughs> I, I, gotta just, I got some rando vintage collection stuff that I'm holding in case I need it. To sell. Yeah, as a backup. Back up. All right, so let's get, let's get started. So we're going to start with the weakest first and then build up to the finale of the program. Good. All right? Okay, so here is the Tack of the Clones. This is actually technically number 45. Uh, you know what? Bravo, bravo. I mean, there's nothing better than a basic clone trooper. A basic clone trooper. Now, this is number 45, and for some reason, someone was like, we need to make this figure again. We've made 160 plus vintage collection figures. This would be the one to remake. I mean, that, it's that's that's yeah, not a not not a walrus man. No, no. Now, how, no, no why would no, you do no, that? Why would you do that? No, we're gonna go with a clone trooper. Now, here's the thing. 
This is 45, and you can see this is they get you because they put it on one of the new card backs. So technically, you could argue that it's a variant figure, right? You know, I'm looking at the back of that card back, Ryan. That's yeah. exactly the back of the 40th anniversary Empire set. That's exact. That's the exact back. Yeah, I mean, they look like that. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's how all the vintage carded figures. So it so it's almost like they took, it's almost like they took the Kenner front and the Hasbro back from your collection. Yes, yes, they're like we we literally can't do anything else. Let's just let's just do this. So it's it's a mixture of black series, <laughs> yes, original and vintage. That's right. right. So here here is the original version, and miraculously, you know, when these things were coming out the heads on these things would yellow almost immediately because these helmets actually come off. Right, so it's a different type of rubber. It's a softer rubber. Yeah, so here is the original number 45, okay? And he's got the big, he's got the big rifle in his hand in that In one. his hand here, yeah. So there's <laughs> another part of the variant, but this is where they get you. See, here is the original car back for the vintage collection. This is this was oh, when they first you started. This is when you they first You should have told me. I could have got, I could have got my um, Attack of the Clones. I have that toy. <laughs> I don't see it on the wall. I actually, I, so I should have got, what number? Uh, this is, I just said 2002. I should see if we were, if we, because we can't be together, I don't know what the back of your card looks like. Yeah, that's true. We should have done that. Because I have the original. All right, you talk. Yeah, maybe, maybe the cameraman could look for it. <laughs> There's, no There's no cameraman. There's no cameraman. I'm going to look for it. You That's talk. Right. So here, for the fans can see, the original, um, same picture, but you'll see there are some slight differences, like the 4 Plus on the new one, which is this guy. So the 4 Plus and the giant warning. Here, there's no rectangle around the warning, and it says ages 4 and up. The other thing that's interesting is that this one says Clone Trooper, and this one does say Clone Trooper, but if you look at the text, one is black and one is white. Not exactly sure why, but those are your two. You can see those there. And the other big difference, obviously, is the gun is in his hand on the original. So I am one of the rare lucky ones that the helmet has not yellowed on this particular figure. But there you go. That's part one. And if CC can find the clone trooper, then you'll actually see the original figure that they were inspired by this. Note that the, uh, the clone trooper in that picture there is red, and this is just a plain basic clone trooper. Phase two. I found a, All right. I found a clone trooper, but he's got a turret. He's got a what? He's got a firing turret. See, you see, on the CCNRR show, we can't even edit any of this out right now. Everything is live and recording. Ah. I'm running out of things to say here, and I know, I know the fans get very, very picky and are very impatient with us. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm trying to dig through that wall, it's, I wish I would have known, but I did find a Super Articulation Episode 3 Clone Trooper. Oh, a Phase 3 there. But it, Yeah, but it's not the one. It's not the one I that. should say Phase 1. Technically, mine is a Phase 1. That's a Phase 2. And a New Hope would be Phase 4. Well, so, maybe, on a, maybe on a future episode, we, you can show that again, and I can actually find it. But, you know, just like you just had a mishap up in your room where your figures toppled all over. Yes, yes. I got figures that just turn the fan on. Everything just falls down. Right, so I, I don't want that to happen because I have multiple walls like that as well, and if I touch one, it's like a domino. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, I could not well, find that. But we did prepare for the next figure. We did. We did. Yes. So here is um, the next figure in my block. This is the Remnant Stormtrooper. Mm, and you got you to gotta, you gotta love the mindset here they were like we make these figures in the yellow yes so let's just take one of those yellowed figures splot some black paint on them and we'll call it a remnant stormtrooper because that's what they were in the mandalorian there you go there is a classic one yellow like look at that helmet look at the top of that helmet 
<laughs> Yellow like my children's teeth. Look at that. Look at that. You can't really see. Let me see if I can get closer to see the yellow. Look, I have another one, but that one's not as bad. This one is yellow. Yeah, you're, the other one's got torso yellowing. I mean, yes. uh, a limb yellowing. Yes. Can you see that a little bit of yellowing? Yeah, you can see. Well, you, can, it's not, you can't really see the yellow, but you can see the grit and the grime on them. Yes. Yeah, so they, so they basically, you know, they, they did not make up a figure. They, they took it from the, the Mandalorian. And he's a cool-looking figure. It looks like it's a repack of the Rogue One Stormtrooper. They just honestly, it kind of looks like a repack of my Black Series Sand Trooper. No, if you look, it's close, but if you look at the head sculpt and the leg sculpts, they definitely yeah. get a better job. But see, you can see you can see the dirt on mine better. Yeah, now you sure that's dirt? That's not just yellowing from sitting on no, your shoes. No, he's a sand trooper. He's got uh, sand all over him. All right, so that's what that is. <laughs> so this is VC one sixty five. Wow. 165, the top line there is, is what they're calling the wave. So we went through the Clone Trooper repack, you had the to, Stormtrooper, yeah. Yeah. we've done Cara Dune, and now we're, we're moving on to obviously the fan favorite. The Scalper's Choice Award mm -hmm. goes to the Mandalorian, a $13 figure, which is arguably borderline ridiculous, is going for 45. Now it is starting to come down because these are starting to ship. But this figure was going anywhere from 60 to 40 all day long for a while. Now I will say that this is a pretty sweet figure. He comes with his rifle and he does come with his little pistol there, just like the Black Series version. And he is. Fully articulate, just like the other ones. The other ones are all your standard ball joints <laughs> figure. There he is. <laughs> there he is. We have so many of these Mandalorians. You can't find these things anywhere. And I'm, you know, just stay tuned, fans, because I'm going to be opening one of these. Are you really? Yeah, to go along with my six inch. How are you opening that? Because I, I have another one of these on my Entertainment Earth that randomly shipped. You ordered well. two man. You ordered two Mandos. I, I was like, "Yep, I'm ordering two of these." Man, you must. It must be nice to be rich. I know, dude. It's that. It's that government dollars right there. So I'm trying so, to look. I'm just trying to see the differences here. There's, <laughs> I mean, besides maybe. So he does. I will say that this one does not come with a cloth cape as well. Like, they like. They're sticking with the vinyl, dude. They're sticking with the vinyl. And 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 the other thing though, I will say this, and we're gonna we're gonna see if this is true or false on on the one of the next CCNR shows. But you know as well as I do, CC, because we've opened up two of these figures. We have. Is that the gun doesn't stay on his back very well? No, I have to, I have to press extremely hard to get that little that little notch. A notch it now. So yeah, when well, I once, I mean, as long as you don't mess with it, it'll hold. It was supposedly on the vintage collection version. It is flawless. Mm. It slides in that hole like it was supposed to be in that hole all day long. You know what I'm saying? No, there's no. You don't need any assistance. No, there is no lube. Need. Because a lot, a lot of times, the first few times I heard it was harder, so I wasn't sure after work a few times if it would this that that little rifle part doesn't even it can be limp and it will go in wow wow yeah. all right well i guess you'll so, find out we will find out the next time that we uh we film so you you won't even have to watch you you won't even have to watch your gungans gone wild anymore nope all i have is this little hole here and be good to go so there you go that is your mandalorian and obviously this is the coolest figure out of the wave and the one yes. that everyone wants that now, is when, is, when is the best car edition coming out? 2025. Okay, because I should be getting mine next year sometime. Yeah, I mean, that you can't even pre-order that, except there no. are people on eBay that already have it for some reason, right? <laughs> knows how that happens? I don't, it's, I, it's, whatever. I don't <laughs> so, so here we go. So we're coming into the finale of the show, now that we've looked at those figures. Mm -hmm. and we're going to be taking a look at this massive beast nice i've been waiting for it i've been waiting to open this and i've been toying back and forth on whether i should open this because rip I mean, it open i don't even know how the box is in this amazing of condition in it. i i think you should stand up and smash on the floor first 
<laughs> Absolutely not. I can't do that. But I will. I will if, do this. I will. If you, if you if you smash on the floor, I will smash my carbonized Boba Fett. No, the white one. I want you to smash the white first edition one. That's like <laughs> this is worth dollars. more. This is worth more though. <laughs> yeah, but the but the bronze breaks all off of that one if you touch it. Oh, that's true. You're right. So I'm going to throw away $20 of the $30 that this costs by opening it right now. Oh, all right. Here we go. Oh, it's, it's too late. It, go gone. Ahead. Garbage. Garbage. Oh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't crack the seal. Oh. Oh. Oh, I heard that. She popped. Oh. oh. Here we go. That's it. No turning. No returning now. Do we, wait a second. Do you think I could return this and put the the force link pro droid in here and i could get away with it <laughs> probably probably could right <laughs> yeah right, here we go you, you don't think they notice the difference right no you could probably put a jaw or han solo in there no one knows you wouldn't notice all right so what do we get in this box let's see oh we got our favorite here we go dude instructions now i, I really I'm, I'm sad to say we're not in the same location so, so you could read this yeah and I can continue opening up. This yeah, unfortunately, we, we don't have that option anymore. We don't have that option. So um, there is no backdrop on this thing, but I can't get it out, even though that, that there's a special. Here we go. It is. It is. Can you see that? Is that the base of the stand. The, yeah, it's the base for the stand, but it's snow you know, snow it mount. A snow mount, but it's. I'm gonna have to cut the debris. Ugh, we don't have we can't edit <laughs> i can't edit right, <laughs> this is live this is live filming this is live this is we we got to do this with no mistakes we've already made several mistakes on this episode and we have we have we dropped the ball a little bit but you know like, like anything else we're just learning as we go the biggest dropping of the ball is that you're sitting in your kitchen instead <laughs> of your star wars room <laughs> well, yeah i can you have I, two I have a, star wars rooms and you can't even find room in one of them to sit I have a, a desktop computer, okay? I don't have a laptop like you. I don't have money like you to be portable. You have okay. six computer screens in your office. I have an iPad one. <laughs> All right, so here you go. You get this probing device. Is that, is that the base or the, the actual stand piece? This is the stand, and they don't... The end, so it is worth noting that this end has got a ball on it, and this end is a little bit square. You see the so, difference? So one goes in the snow, and one goes in his yes. rear. So for you fans that don't like instructions, the ball goes in this hole. Oh. Nice. That, ball, that, went, that, that went ball deep. It, it did go ball deep. That's all you get. It's ball deep. Okay, so that's your stand. All right. All right. all right, here we go. Let's go for this. Look at this beast. It's got debris all over it, dude. All the legs, all the legs have to be <laughs> cut open. It's a good thing you got your uh, your little Leatherman. It, it, you know, if they must have taken they must have taken a note from the NECA. Yeah, with the Gremlins. <laughs> yeah, they were like you got to get this in here as best you possibly can. All right, so I'm going to do this as quickly. It took the here, I'll just I'll hold this up instead while you're doing that. <laughs> it's a great figure. All right, I'm 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 getting there. I'm I'm going efficient. I got I'll just show, I'll just show the fans random figures I have on my desk while you're doing that. <laughs> you're you're distracting me. I have my Mickey and Oswald build a droids. Which may never happen ever again if Disney never opens. That's true. Disney's in some serious trouble right now. Yeah. This freaking someone, COVID. Someone wasn't saving all those billions from those Marvel movies. I guess not. Oh, I just keep showing random things in from our from our past episodes. This debris. This, this, this. I got one more to go, and I and I get you right on his, his dirty head. All right, there we go, dude. And wake wake the children up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so, you, so I have to say this is a pretty big figure. Now, before you before you say anything, 
it looks from what I can see in the box, it almost looks like it's hollow. Is it heavy? Does it have weight? Well, that was what I was about to say. No, this thing is really, really light. So is it hollow almost? Like it's like. So, so you say we're unprepared and you say that I'm in a bad location, mm -hmm. but I'm going to pull out my scale. Wow. Why would and, and I'm going why to have a digital, this? why do you have a digital scale? Because I do a lot of online stuff and I got to weigh certain things as I get older. Okay. To see what it, see, see what's going on. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So here we go. Let me weigh this thing for you. It's only 3.3 ounces. Wow. That is nothing compared to, let me weigh my, <laughs> let me weigh my Mandalorian in All the right. box. That's 1.9 ounces. So barely, barely more. So it is, so it's not a solid piece of plastic. No, they, they were like, you need to make this thing as hollow as you possibly can. Do, do you think they took two halves and like snapped it and glued it? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So, so does it feel it, cheap? It is, does it feel cheap? It actually kind of does. Mm, so yeah, I mean, it, it, like, it's, it's really good quality. I mean, it's got, it's got the red marks all over it, yeah, scuffed up. Got all, he's got all his sensors and eyes. All, yeah, look, these little, these little antennas go up. Oh, wow. See that? Look at that, fans. Does it have a self-destruct button? It, it does right here, right? You see this little thing? It moves. Yeah. Little pistol. The head moves. But he doesn't blow apart. He does not blow apart. There is no self-destruct. But he, um, so let's see what articulation we got in these limbs. All right, so here's up and down, side to side, here and here. So you get five points of articulation. One, Two, three, four. I'm sorry, four. Move on to this leg. Same thing. One up here, 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 and you get one down here. So this one has five. Next little baby doll leg. This one is limited up here, but one, two, three. This one's turning. One, two, three, four. You hear that? There it is. <laughs> These little dainty ones, I'm afraid to move. There we go. You got one, two, three. All right. I think that's all of them. So, so this is by far the definitive probe droid. So, it's so, but, so it has the articulation at the head where it spins, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. And then these little baby doll antennas are connected and they can go up, up and down. Okay. So I'm going to put it on the stand. I, I mean, I mean the weight uh, is the way to knock on this. No, not necessarily. And it, it, there are screws, so it's not snap. See those. Holes? Oh, okay. 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 It is screwed. All right. So here we go. I'm going to break this now, right? Well, I guess here while you're doing that, I guess I guess I can do some more. I don't really have much. Oh, here we go. I will say that this hole on the bottom is is very tight. Very. <laughs> Ooh, I'm tech. I don't, I don't know what else I have over here, dude. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm putting it in. It is very tight. You like it tight? Yeah. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> the computer animated our puppet. That's the puppet version. It's the puppet Yoda from um, episode one. There you go. I mean, it's pretty sweet, dude. I wonder if they made it light because of the fact that it's got the base and if it was heavy, it might not hold correctly. Yeah, it may like eventually fall over. How does it, does it, does it stand decently if you put it down? Let's, let's see if I can. Uh... Careful, I don't know if you have pants on. Yeah, that's true. I don't think I can show it. Come on, dude. Here, let me put it in my hand. Put it, put it behind you. Yeah, okay. So, so it's not like super heavy or top heavy or anything. No, no, no. Here, here. I got I to gotta crouch because I'm completely nude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't see anything. It's so bright. Can you see this? 
What is that? You know, you know how rare this is? Fantastic. That kills grease, removes 100% grease. Yeah, but this is a disinfectant multi-purpose cleaner. This is rarer than a Mandalorian on a vintage car. Does that, does that kill COVID? It kills everything. All right, good. So here you go. So here, it is, it does, it does stand. All right. That's a pretty, I mean, it's pretty sweet. It's definitely, uh, I will give them props for this guy because it, it will be a very awesome uh, display piece. Let me see. Nice. You see those scuffs? Yeah, I do like it. It's a pretty cool figure, dude. Go all the way around. For yeah, you. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to probably end up snatching another one of those up and uh, opening it too. Yeah. So yeah, the head's fully articulated, antennas and all the legs. They, they've only made like, you know, what, a handful of these? Yeah, they haven't made a ton of them. And this is by far the definitive. Every leg on this thing moves, which they've never really made one that's had that type of articulation in it. Like it. I like so it. Definitely, definitely worth a, a purchase if you're into probe droids. Mm -hmm. Definitely pretty sweet. Now, this would look pretty cool with one of your Bespin Hans, you know, getting ready to blast it or, or one of your Chewies be a nice little scene that would know? be a cool little scene if you had the chewy maybe maybe, maybe black series will make a box with that scene because they're infamous for that maybe we'll maybe we'll get that yeah so, so so i am pleasantly surprised with this thing well, good. Uh, you know, it doesn't blow up I, that's the one thing i wish it would have like the speeder bike self-destruct mode on it yeah i mean the force link version has got a, a giant missile that can shoot out of it but that one doesn't blow up hmm. interesting um i don't think they've they've probably made one that's blown up in the past but they made one like a couple years back or like i don't know like 10 years ago maybe i think that had like some kind of feature like that but i don't know they did have it on the attack of Hoth, the original star wars playset, but mm -hmm. the whole thing falls down it doesn't blow up i hear you so but there you go, fans. All right. Well, Imperial probe droid, go pick one up. Definitely worth it. Nice. And uh, what, what else do you have? What else do you have coming? Nothing. Well, everything. Oh. I, I'm trying. Well, yes. So let me. I have nothing new. Okay. The next wave, as they call it, is literally all repacks. Okay. Oh yeah, it's repaints. It's all repaints, and that slave one vehicle is a complete repaint. Same vehicle, except it comes with a stand, right. which I'm getting. So we'll be able to do that for the show. But uh, and then the two new figures. There's there's a handful of figures, maybe five figures. I'm getting a repack of Luke, mm -hmm. a probe. Droid, or, I'm sorry, a power droid that's somewhat of a repack, okay. but it's going to be on its own card. So that's new. Okay. And I'm getting that K2SO. That's right. And that Commander Wolf. Don't forget your Gonk droid. Yeah, that's that Gonk. Yeah, that's my Gonk droid. The bottom of it's the, is old, is is a repack. The top of it's new, but it's coming on its own card. Which I like that. I like that. I didn't. Um, I, they've never made it on a single card before. All right. So I guess the next few episodes are going to be Black Series and Retro. Then. Yes, and right. maybe I mean I've got some NECA stuff out there too, but Lord knows when that's coming. Maybe I can maybe I can get two Boba Fetts for the Retro, and I can open one for no reason. <laughs> that would be perfect. But then we can do a compare to, to the original Boba Fett. All right. Maybe, 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 that, dude. Well, I'll take I'll take some. Maybe I'll take some of the extra Don uh, Uncle Don money and buy an extra one for eighty dollars. Why not? Why not? Why not? All right. I'm well, gonna buy an Exor Bliss. Why not? Because it fell that's off your it fell off your wall. So, anyway, fans, we're rambling until mm -hmm. the next episode. Peace. <laughs>